There's a multitude of spirits in this realm of lost souls. YouTuber Franco TV explores cemeteries worldwide, and in this one, he captures clear footage of a spirit. But still no sign. <gasps> this is one of the most convincing full-bodied encounters I've ever seen. Here's a closer look. But still no sign. However, that's not the only eerie thing Franco encounters in the cemetery. What is this hooded figure doing here? And are the two incidents connected? My theory is that this hooded man is a cult member summoning spirits from their graves. What do you think is happening here? This chilling video is certainly causing alarm among viewers. YouTuber Adam Mark and his team delve into an underground site, investigating the ghosts said to reside there. Did you live here as well? Mate, that was eerily on cue, wasn't it? Yeah, but we couldn't have got... He asks questions and receives some eerie responses. I shouldn't be dead. Can you tell us what happened to you? Why are you dead? What? I'm sorry, I'm shuffling noise. Through that. I, I stand back. Hmm. Then, moments later, something startling occurs. We appreciate the energy that it takes. We know it's not easy for you. Could you please set that device off again? Mate, what was that? That was loud. What's staring back at them after they hear a distinct noise? Let's go. Let's go, chat. That was too loud to be. Hello? That was almost like something being thrown. Yeah. They go to investigate but find no one there. Right, just we'll stay away from that music box just so it, it can't confuse us with it. What the with her. Later, they hear knocking again, this time even clearer. Honestly. What was that? <laughs> Three spirits. Three okay. spirits, man. Mate, what was that noise? Three spirits are watching, and it seems their goal is to give everyone a heart attack. The team from the YouTube channel Proving Demons returns by meeting the devil himself in a frightening video. In this haunted prison, they receive a demonic message that sounds more like a nagging whisper. Later, they hear unsettling noises echoing in the dark hallways. What's that horrible noise? That's me, sorry. Sounds like machinery going off. As they listen intently to the eerie sounds in the distance, a door opens nearby. Yo, that door just opened. Oh. That door just opened. That door just opened. Really? Yeah. It was closed two seconds ago. And it just opened. Again, they hear a distant scream. What the f What was that? You just hear the screaming? The guy yelling? Although I didn't hear it myself, the next part is crystal clear. Go to that window again. Look, oh my. It was like that bit came right out. And that was actually last as well. Yeah. Look, oh my. Closing it. There is no wind in here at all. They continue exploring and hear a door slam but miss capturing it on camera. Doors and windows are opening and closing all over the prison. That was another door and I wasn't even filming. 
Please. Slam another door for us. It came from over here. That. <gasps> Holy My theory is that the souls of former prisoners are trying to escape, but their life sentences seem to persist in the afterlife. YouTuber Jordan Paragod recently encountered something eerie, suggesting the crew stumbled upon an active presence within a haunted residence. The unsettling noises were just the tip of the iceberg. In a subsequent clip, Jordan appeared to be affected by an unknown force. Was it possession? His altered state certainly raises questions. While unable to articulate his experience, Jordan speculates it might have been extreme fatigue from the prolonged investigation with minimal rest. Yet, his peculiar behavior, coupled with the unexplained disturbances, hints at deeper mysteries within this castle. Imagine receiving a notification on your phone, only to discover this footage. The YouTube channel Haunted Real Estate Investigations shared this video from a security camera. The homeowners had moved in just six months earlier. Granted, the angle of the footage might allow a person to hide out of view, but the way the cupboards open and close doesn't seem human to me. Is this family dealing with a hungry ghost? I'd need more footage before deciding, and until then, if I lived in this house, I wouldn't raid the pantry at midnight. Situated in Philadelphia, Fort Mifflin is renowned for its role in the Revolutionary and Civil Wars, and due to its history, it's reputed to be haunted. YouTuber Katrina Weidman and her team visit to investigate using a photon camera designed by Zach, an electrical engineer. The team records movement and noises within the fort. This event took place in the Powder Magazine. The team claims no one was near the area when this was recorded. Shortly after, Zach uses a thermal camera outside, capturing this. I just hear it a scream. I don't think that was the girls. I don't know if this is recording audio, but I just heard a scream. When the team regroups later, they observe a spark on the Tesla coil. Hey, can you touch the uh, Tesla coil for the, the thing that's making some noise in the middle of the room? Sparking again. Yeah, I heard that. I don't know if I see it, but I hear it. Was this where you stayed during solitary confinement? To me, this appears to be convincing evidence that Fort Mifflin is truly haunted, suggesting that a former prisoner continues to endure his afterlife in solitary confinement. YouTuber Hassan Barbar senses a terrifying presence marked by the slamming of a door. <laughs> I 
The search intensifies, with the jinn growing more aggressive. He seems to lurk around every corner. Despite Hassan's thorough search, he only catches a glimpse of the jinn. Where is the jinn hiding? Perhaps it's best left unanswered. I don't think I'd want to find out. YouTuber Nikolai from Seeker of Ghosts was navigating dark woods when he spotted a glowing light. Nikolai from Seeker of Ghosts cautiously circled around and captured the glow once more. Drawing nearer, he observed the figure and remarked, looks like a woman. Considering, could it be a witch? It seemed increasingly likely as Nikolai approached the spot where the woman had been performing a ritual. It looks like voodoo to me, he murmured as he examined the scene, noticing the witch approaching. He escaped, but just barely. I hope she doesn't find a little Nikolai-shaped voodoo doll. Or I might be next, he thought. Rando Nautica, a solo YouTuber exploring with Angelo, is led into a dark forest, where he finds a creepy arrangement of cryptic items. Um, for some reason, I thought there was going to be something behind that. They are all victims in place this. I see them all day long. My head, it hurts. As he examines them, he feels like something is watching him. Oh, jeez, he's right there. Soon, he realizes that Angelo is watching him. He still doesn't know what this figure is doing, but he feels a sense of concern. So Angelo decides he must escape before it's too late. Is this man really intending to harm, or is he just practicing axe throwing? I think Angelo was right to flee rather than stay to find out after all. It's better to be safe than sorry. <laughs> 